You've heard strong winds are tearing through parts of the low country as we speak, and we've already seen trees knocked down. Thousands of people are without power out there. That's right, and we are going to go now downtown to Anna Harris. She is in the market area for us, and Anna, what are you seeing out there? Hey, Roth and Ann, so it's not too different than it was here about 30 minutes ago, but we have gone to the other side of the market and have noticed considerable flooding. Now, this is about ankle deep. I would say we actually saw someone running for exercise during this sort of storm, and you could, I could see that it was about ankle deep for him. As you can see that there's a few cars trying to drive by, and it's not too, too deep on this side, but on the opposite side of the road, it was pretty considerably deep for a different truck that we saw earlier. Now, there are sandbags on this business and a couple other businesses businesses nearby that are boarded up, um, but most people I think are staying inside and I definitely recommend it at this time, especially now that it's dark and the temperatures are getting chillier um, and we're freezing out here. So we're ready to get inside for sure, um, but definitely be cautious out on the roads if you need to absolutely need to get somewhere and be cautious of any debris if you are walking. So reporting live from downtown Charleston, Anna Harris, Live 5 News. Bye. All right, Anna. Yeah, definitely good advice. Now, our Emily Johnson joining us live in Somerville. She's been covering the storm from a different part of the low country. Emily, so what's it look like up in Somerville? Yes, and in Roth. Well, throughout the day, we've been driving throughout Berkeley and Dorchester counties to fully see exactly the extent of this storm. And we've mainly seen debris and trees that are in roads and fallen down from the strong winds. But currently here in downtown Somerville, and I'll walk out of the way so you can see it, this road of West Richardson in, has been closed down to one road due to flooding, but it looks like they're starting to pack up because most of those flooding waters have started to go down. Power outages have also been a major concern with this storm's high winds with around 34,000 Dominion Energy customers in the state currently with their power out. Berkeley County or excuse me, Berkeley Electric currently has almost 10,000 customers without power with 26% of customers being on Johns Island. We have seen that number climb throughout the day as the storm has continued on. A spokesperson with Dominion Energy says the outages are definitely a wind event for them, which is exactly what they prepared for. What we're dealing with primarily is damage from winds and and of course uh, because of those strong winds damage to trees tree limbs taking down our, our poles as well as energized lines. He adds that the crews will continue to work throughout the rest of the night to restore customers power and they will relocate those crews to whatever areas need it the most. We will also be here live in downtown Somerville tonight at 7 o'clock with more updates on this continued winds and rains. Reporting live in downtown Somerville, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.